When a government vehicle breaks down in the Air Force, the first thing troops usually do is send it to the vehicle maintenance shop and wait until it's fixed. Yet most troops who drive government vehicles don't take the time to recognize airmen like senior airman Colin Turnbow, one of the many vehicle maintainers at Kunsan who tirelessly work on the never-ending flow of incoming vehicles. Usually this shop is, there's so many vehicles in here you can't pull another one in. Like, there's, there's two spots right there, third one right there, we're standing in one. It's, just, it's a long process because of how many vehicles there are, how few people we are, and how hard it is to get parts. Patience is necessary for this grease-covered craft, and each airman in the shop shares a passion for the down and dirty duty they perform every day. I, I grew up doing this. My, my family's all mechanics, so I'm actually a third-generation vehicle maintainer in the Air Force. Turning wrenches is all right. It's not that bad. But actually helping someone learn how to turn wrenches that really wants to learn how to turn wrenches is way more rewarding in the end of the day than, than me ever turning a wrench on a bobtail. If vehicle maintainers like these weren't willing to push through tight deadlines, the impact to missions around the base would be immense. My favorite part of the job is when something comes in that like, that can be done in a day, but not really. Like it shouldn't be able to be done in a day. They're like, yo, you gotta get this vehicle out, you gotta get it out today. We have the parts and they kinda let you just go at it. And it's really cool when a vehicle leaves the shop that wasn't supposed to leave the shop. I mean, it makes you feel pretty cool. Senior Airman Adam Harder, Kunsan Air Base, Korea.